you need to have enough capable leaders to execute your strategy. Hi, I'm Daniel Marcos. I'm the CEO of the Growth Institute, and I'm an expert on scaling companies, and I've coached a lot of the best CEOs in Latin America and the world. I'm amazed of companies that they believe having an amazing strategy, it's everything. No, it's nothing. If you could not execute that strategy, your strategy is worth nothing. It's worth zero. Identify an idea or a strategy and be able to execute it better. How are you going to execute it better? Have a better team. So you have to have a strong team that is first aligned with the problem and excited to overcome that problem. Two, they complement each other. They really help each other and then they work together as a team. And for me, rule number one is to have a leader in every department that is much better than me in that area. I, don't, I cannot tell my head of sales how to sell more. I wish my head of sales teaches me and tells me the strategy of how to sell more. So my job is to always surround myself with people that are way better than me in each of the areas of the business. If I do that, they're going to build an amazing team below them. And my job is to help them work as a team. If I have the best person in finance, best person in sales, best person in marketing, my job is to make them work as a team. As an example, if you remember the movie Top Gun, I'm a huge, huge fan of the last Top Gun movie. For me, the most important part, and I was discussing this with Brian Harnish, the author of Scaling Up a couple of weeks ago, is when the team is playing in the beach and the commander comes and, and tells captain, said, hey, captain, what are you doing? And they said, my boys are playing on the beach. He said, they should be training. They're going to go to war. And he said, the most important thing that they need to do before they go outside to the war, they need to operate as a team. So the job, what he was doing for them playing football in the beach, he was them becoming a team and now playing as a team. And now that they're a team, they're going to be able to compete out there or fight out there as a team. You have to make them work as a team. So your job is bringing the best and then make sure they play as a team and they play well with each other so they could play as a team. Before I go to the next part of the video, subscribe to the channel, push the notification button so next time I get the next video, you get it first so you could really learn this material and implement in your company and be able to scale your company faster with less drama. All right, let's go to the rest of the video. Now, invest in marketing and sales. And this is sometimes a joke, but people that really put a lot of folks on the program or the product, they're so enamored to the product that they believe people are going to fight for it on their own. And I was like, no, you have to market. You have to take it to the world and let the world know that you have a great product or service. Imagine I build an amazing chocolate. This is the most delicious chocolate you've ever tasted. Do you think it's going to sell on its own? No, I need to give it to some people for them to taste it, for them to tell other friends and family. So once you build a great product, you have to sell it. So your job is to build a strong messaging, marketing, and sales process or strategy to be able to take your product to market. Implement a disciplined execution. One, you identify a problem. Two, you identify a strategy and a competitive advantage of how to serve that problem or that market. Three, you have an amazing team with you to be able to do that. Four, you have a strong marketing and sales strategy. Now you have to execute everything. You have to make that a reality. And the best companies that we've seen, they know they have all of that and they are focused in executing the strategy. They know that the only thing way things are gonna happen is if they make things happen. So they have very clear priorities. Two, they have very clear KPIs to set expectations. Hey, my objective is to go out and knock in 40 doors. And today I'm gonna knock in 40 doors and tomorrow I'm gonna knock in 40 doors. Do you think it's comfortable and nice to go and knock in 40 doors every day? No, but the best companies, they have the discipline to go and knock in 40 doors every day. Or I'm gonna call 10 potential clients every day and you call every day 10 potential clients. So you have to first set priorities. What's important? Do I have a plan, strategy plan? I have to execute it. Two, what are the KPIs that you're gonna measure to make sure you're executing correctly? And that's gonna give you an expectation from your team of what each one needs to do. And then three, a rhythm of meetings to how to be able to review that priorities, review the data, review the KPIs, and make any adjustment and communicate with the team. Those are the three disciplines of execution. You could learn from them on Scaling Up. I learned them from Vern Harnish uh, in his book, Scaling Up, in the three disciplines of execution. Very, very simple, but it's hard to do execution. It's hard to stay focused in execution all the time. 
for the best companies. They say, okay, we have a great program. We have a great strategy. We have a great team. Now we're going to execute. And they're very, very focused and they make sure they bring their strategy to life. And the only way to do that is through execution. Okay, now you know the five core steps to scale your company. Very, very simple. I hope I didn't set anything you've, that is new to you. They're all very, very simple and very practical to implement. So start implementing them, build a scaling up path of your company, and most importantly, be disciplined in executing that plan. If you do that, your company is going to scale and you're going to be able to scale your impact and reduce the drama of the operation. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you got a lot, a lot of value from this video. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great value and look forward to see you in the next video. Bye.